6.8 practice problems. Based on the information in the table above, which of the following expressions gives the approximate delta H for the reaction represented by the following balanced chemical equation? So I can see that the delta H of the uh, iron three oxide is a negative 826. I can see the carbon monoxide, we have negative 111. Iron, we have zero. And then carbon dioxide, we have negative uh, 394. Okay, uh, so we are going to be doing uh, products minus reactants here. And we do need to multiply by the coefficients. So I have two irons, I have three carbon dioxides, and I have three carbon monoxides. And I will match uh, that to each of these. So uh, option choice A is going to be eliminated because I don't have any of the coefficients present. And I can also eliminate option D for the same reason. Uh, then the difference between option B and C, this is uh, products minus reactants, this is reactants minus products, and we are dealing with uh, products minus reactants. So option choice B is going to be my choice. The enthalpy change for the reaction below is negative 860 kilojoules per mole. Based off of the standard enthalpies of formation uh, provided in the table, what is the approximate delta H of formation for uh, the iron three oxide here. So um, we know that um, our net is going to be negative 860. And so we can go ahead and uh, figure out uh, what's going on um, with all of them relative. So uh, we have the 1680 here, um, iron being zero and aluminum being zero. Okay, so we have uh, products minus reactants, and if I need it to still be negative, that means that my uh, reactants amount needs to be uh, negative so that it, the double negative turns into a positive. And then um, I just would see what plus 1680 would give me approximately um, uh, negative 1680 would give me approximately negative uh, 860, uh, and that would be option choice D. So that's going to be uh, my answer. Uh, the reaction between water and carbon is represented in the balanced chemical equation above, based off of the enthalpy change of, uh, of the reaction. Um, and the standard heats of formation uh, given in the table opposite, what is the approximate uh, heat of formation for uh, carbon monoxide? So um, I know that my total uh, delta H is going to be uh, positive uh, 131, and we know that we have products minus reactants. And so um, our products here, um, are, uh, we have the hydrogen with a zero, carbon with zero, and then water with negative 242. Again, it is uh, products minus reactants. So um, I, uh, so I need uh, to remember that uh, since it is minus a negative, this is going to be um, effectively plus 242. Uh, so X plus 242 is going to give me uh, 131. So uh, 131 minus 242 gives me negative 111 kilojoules per mole. So option choice B is going to be my choice. What is the standard enthalpy change or delta H uh, not for the reaction represented above? Uh, delta H of formation for the uh, C2H2 is 
230 kilojoules per mole and delta H of formation for the uh, cyclohexane is going to be 83 kilojoules per mole. Um, again, this is going to be um, reactants minus products, or sorry, products minus reactants here. So we have delta H of formation of 83, and then um, we uh, have uh, 230 for our uh, C2H2. Okay, we do have three of them, so that is going to be uh, 83 uh, minus, and then three times 230. which gives me negative 607 kilojoules. According to the information above, which of the standard, uh, what is the standard enthalpy of formation or delta H formation for uh, ammonia at 298 Kelvin? So we know that the uh, delta H is uh, 92 uh, kilojoules and this is the uh, total uh, delta H. We also know that uh, these here are going to be uh, zero since they are uh, elements. And we have uh, two moles here. Uh, and so this is going to be divided by two. And then since uh, we are asking for the reverse um, of this reaction, we are going to inverse the charge here. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of anything that is positive, and then we know that we are dividing it by two. So that leaves me just with the answer choice B um, as my uh, choice there. If standard molar heats of formation for ammonia uh, and gaseous water are negative 46 and negative 242 kilojoules per mole respectively, what is the delta H for the reaction represented above? Okay, so we have um, uh, standard heats of formation for ammonia um, at uh, negative 46. However, this is uh, the heat of formation and we are going in the opposite direction. So that's going to be positive here. And then I have four. Um, oxygen and nitrogen are both going to be zero because they're elements. And then water is going to be uh, negative 242. Um, and that is going to be multiplied by six there. So, um, and we are going to have products minus reactants. So six times uh, negative 242 gives me uh, negative 1452, okay? And then uh, four times 46 gives me uh, 184, and then products minus reactants, so negative 14, uh, or, sorry, this should still be negative, um, 1452, uh, minus uh, 184, or, nope, uh, this should be positive, my bad. Uh, it's minus positive, or my, nope, minus a negative, oh my gosh. I apologize, guys, should still be negative. Um, minus a negative, which gives me a positive. Okay, so uh, the negative uh, 1452 plus 184 uh, gives me a negative uh, 1268 or negative 1270. So option choice D.